Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here and welcome to another First Look game. Punk Wars is the name today. And it is a, a 4x strategy. Uh, so, again, I'll read through the... <laughs> I was wondering where that went then. Read through the, the Steam blurb. It is available over on Steam. Um, link will be down below. It is currently $28.95 Australian, so probably around the $25 mark. Uh, it came out on the 12th of November 2021 and it is currently getting mostly positive reviews over on Steam. Um, it's developed by Strategy Forge SA and, and published by Jujub and Strategy Forge. Uh, the, the blurb goes, Our civilization has fallen. From the ashes, four new powers emerge. Immerse yourself in a combat-heavy twist on a classic turn-based 4x strategy where steam steel item and diesel punk corporations clash to spread their technology and the way of life uh, so we're going to jump in it's a it is a turn-based strategy city builder sort of sort of game so we're going to jump in we're going to start the tutorial All right, here we go. Welcome, Hyrarch. Welcome to the tutorial. Face the deadly diesel punk faction as the leader of the steampunk faction. With your steam-powered technology, you are going to expand your base onto the deadly wasteland, face enemy units, and show no mercy to those who reject your offers of help. Only your technology can prevail and lead what's left of humanity to ascend into a new era of prosperity. Under your enlightened, leadership your people are going to eradicate poverty sickness hunger and wars or they will die trying so orientations here we go use green arrows on the side of the windows switch between the events yep okay cool we've got some little icon here normally other options will generate different outcomes depending on your decision in this tutorial however they will provide you additional information about the game and its setting it doesn't matter which option you choose so let's push accept as you can see, we're still at the phase of humble beginnings. We have some resource production buildings in place. That's good since we're not going to run out of them anytime soon. But that doesn't mean you can't, you can just sit back and relax. There is a lot ahead of us if we want to expand. First of all, most actions are disabled for the time of the training. We don't have any military units. We have only one worker or unit available, a builder. That, hey, what's that over there? Switch to the next event, yep. You can find resources, their production each turn, and their current limit at the top of the screen. So we've currently got 20 and we're producing two. Uh, we've got 20 food and we're producing two. Uh, 15 steam and again producing two. We have one manpower. Everyone's happy. Uh, everything's blocked temporarily. Can't research then and it's turn one. And it, this is our faction. Uh, let's see. Food and water are basic commodities. Science points used to further our technology. Manpower is the workforce available for each unit. Recruitment and steam, our main energy source. Each faction uses a different type of fuel to power their machines. Maximum limit of resources we can have is directly limited by the number of security towers. Each new tower will increase the limit by five. What are you? Airwell hydroponic farm, rail yard, and an observatory. Builders are basic workers who gather resources, fix damaged buildings, and construct new ones. Building construction will consume the unit. That's unfortunate. It seems that an armoured steam locomotive lost during the last skirmish with barbaric wastelanders has been found. It is heavily damaged though. The crew is wounded. It will be unable to act unless we help it. First, we will need a medic unit who can be hired in the training center. As you can see right now, we lack that crucial infrastructure. Something should be done about it, so build us a new training center. Always remember to close the event before proceeding with your task, and don't worry, your current goal will be displayed in the 
in detail in a pop-up. We need to close this and starting builder is located outside your base, so I'm guessing that's this guy. Uh, select him with your left mouse button and um, to move the builder, right click on a hex you want him to travel to. Each move consumes some action points the unit has. So he has six action points, six HP, and the builder apparently will be consumed, right? So uh, oh, actually there was more text there. Uh, action points are used for all action unit under for all actions units undertake. Moving, fighting, using special actions, etc. To make things easier, in the tutorial builders and other units have access only to a limited number of actions. Nice. Keep in mind that most builders, buildings, including the training center, must be placed within your borders. Your borders run along the wall that surrounds your base. Okay, so if I move over here, this this is our border. Yes, so if I, I need to move him to here, and we're going to accept. Uh, find the builder unit. Don't know why this is up like that. Uh, yeah, right click with the mouse inside the right click with the right mouse button and empty hex inside the walls surrounding so your base. The builder will move to that hex which they have. Click on the builder, it will bring up that unit's action. Yep, there we go. Construct basic building. Uh, select construct basic building. So number one, we're going to construct the training center. Uh, gives us some details. It's going to cost five water, five food, and two steam, apparently. We're going to hit accept. Great job. You have built your first building. Training centers allow you to recruit basic military units, men at arms, and snipers. You can also use it to hire a medic civilian unit. Speaking of, we need a medic to help the damaged locomotive and its crew. Select the building and hire one. And expedite the training so it will only take one turn. Recruit a unit, you just click on it. Hello. In a single building, you can queue as many recruits as you can afford, but they will be recruited one at a time. Playing, you can switch between all units quickly by pressing the enter button. Also press the space button to display health bars of all units and buildings. Ah, so you just toggle, like you hold, hold it down and it shows you. Different buildings offer different benefits. Some may increase production or allow the recruitment of new units. Some are even capable of fighting. All actions available to a building can be found at the bottom of the screen when the building is selected. Down here. Uh, all buildings and units also have skip turn and sleep actions. Yep. Sort of standard. Again, this, this, can you accept that please? Um, click on the training center with the left mouse button. We've done that. Select the higher medic button. Ah, down here. Higher medic. Say accept. Finish your turn so your new medic can spawn. Finish my turn. Yes, and the other teams doing their stuff. Oh, end of my turn there. Okay, there we go. Medic is reporting for duty. Now we need to move him closer to the lo locomotive and let him work his magic. Hey, walking out there. We should turn to continue. Slipping through ASICs, use sleep action on your training center to ignore it in future turns. Sleep. Okay. Click on the medic unit and select heal. Maybe I need to select heal and right click. We fixed the locomotive. We fixed the locomotive and not a moment too soon as we have detected the enemy military unit near our base. So far we have only clashed with unorganized wastelanders. 
Just the mere presence of air polluting diesel soldiers makes my steam go off. I've always suspected that, and now that we now we have a confirmation, diesel must have a base somewhere in this area. We need to deal with them. First, we should take care of the present threat. Uh, the locomotive's got to be adjacent to an enemy before it can attack. Use, use steam charge action to boost the attack. Okay. Yikes. Medics, builders, and other civilians are incapable of fighting. And Diesel Punk is a rival faction. Okay, cool. So we need to get you. We need to get over here. Medics potentially need to move. Yeah, that's it. Shoot up my stuff. Uh, oh, I, okay, so right click on them. Do I have more action points? No. That's till end of turn. There we go. That's them gone. Is she defeated? In? Yep, we've finished. Let's end the turn. Done this battle, but the war is just beginning. The armored steam locomotive unit gained an experience point for destroying the enemy. Why not reward them for their bravery? We'll give them one extra point, which will be just enough to level them up. Once you close this window, you'll be able to choose a new perk. Okay, so we can select them and we can either give them an extra ability to go to an extra action point or we just give them plus one excellent uh, choose one of the two level up perks and finish your turn to continue and you can just Nice. It's time to crank up our production by doing what we do best. Unobstructed, unscrupulous expansion. We need to secure more areas so we can build new buildings, gather more resources, and form new military units. Only one way to expand our borders by building an observatory. Steampunk's security tower that allows us to annex surrounding hexes. Observatories can be built only on natural hexes adjacent to our borders. Okay, so I'm going to need to select the observatory. I'm going to need to hire a builder. Uh, then we need to finish the turn. Use fortify on the on this guy. Okay, select the builder. Find observatory in the construct basic. Uh, so let's move him. I don't know if we can build here. I think we're only going to be able to build like this way. It needs to be outside the wall. Judging by this, let's move him here. Can't because they're there. Okay, we can now build more, produce more, and get even more powerful. It's time to create a force ready to take our enemies head on. The base is on an elevated patch of terrain which limits access to and from it. Just south of our base you can find a cave that we that can be used to reach the lower levels. Walking is for barbarians. I propose we build a skyport instead and shoot for the skies. Skyports allow us to observe distant areas remotely. That's what's even better, they can produce combat zeppelins. Hire another build. Finish the turn. Let's 
this little thing here. Send your builder somewhere. You guys can like go over here, please. Okay. Awesome. No. All good. Uh, let's put you here and build a skyport. Uh, can you like sleep for now? Just, just sleep for the moment. I need to produce a combat combat zeppelin. There we go. Now that our zeppelin is operational, we can send it across the cliff to scout for enemies ahead. But we have also heard rumours that there are ruins of semi-functional neutral city somewhere on the lower levels of the wastelands. Uh, we're going to look for it. We're going to do. You can use the air recon action in your skyport to find the city faster. Okay. So that's in here. Okay. Otherwise we can like move our mate over here. Is that it? Yes, that's it there. Okay. You're meant to be fortified. You need to go here. Mm -hmm. Send your combat zeppelin to this city and finish your turn there to continue. You found the neutral city. Our expedition awaits your orders. What shall we do with all the resources and people gathered here? They are simple folks trying to survive in this harsh environment, but clearly we need the resources more, and those wastelanders are in desperate need of good leadership, whether they realise this or not. However, the city is a maze. If we try to secure the resources, the inhabitants will have a chance to escape. On the other hand, if we try to capture them, we risk them destroying their supplies. Okay. The barons are not fit to be part of our sophisticated society. That's terrible. We'll only take the resources and move on. We don't need their scraps, but with some patience, we can make those fine chaps our workers or soldiers. They should be thankful we don't shoot them on sight. Stand down, soldiers. These unfortunate people have nothing of interest for us. Let them go and focus on finding a true objective. Diesel faction base. So we're either going to get the people or we're going to get the, the materials. What have we got? People are happy. I don't need the material. Let's take the people. We have reports that somewhere nearby there's an abandoned tower that could be arranged for our security tower. By scaring the wasteland a little more, maybe we can find it. Okay, so we got an extra 15 manpower limit. Okay, so it wants us to search for the thing that it's pointing out. <laughs> We need to go over here. Cool. It's in your vision range. Finish your turn. So we're going to fortify that there. There it is. It's in poor condition, but looks salvageable. With some work, we can make it usable for our purposes. Send one of our building units over there. They should be able to create a fully usable observatory from this ruin. So I need to make a builder. Um... Builders can upgrade all our buildings all the way to level 3. Upgrade will improve properties for a building. For example, it can increase its HP or give it ability to attack nearby enemies. Upgrading security towers will increase the number of claimed hexes around it and give us more space for new constructions. You should try it out. Fire another builder and upgrade at one of our observatories. Just keep in mind, much like construction, upgrading a building will also consume your builder. Cool, so let's get a builder in both our towers and end our turn.
Nice. So we'll take you and you're going over here. Then we got you and you are going to send one onto the hex with the ruined security tower and build a new observatory there. Use the other to upgrade one of your observatories by using the building upgrade action number three. Building upgrade. Okay, so we can now build on all of this area. And if I upgrade this, I'll get these three items as well. So it probably wouldn't hurt to uh, fire another builder. Sure, we'll need it. Bill, you upgrade that building. And you move two things each time. Um, we've pretty much got all this area up here now. And look, we've got a wall that covers down here too. Whether or not it's wise to, to go one more and let's hire one more build. We'll see what we can get out of it. Yeah, so we've already got it as far as we can. We'll move them to here. There'll be a building we can build. Keep going, my friends. Can you... I. Uh, it go here. Yeah, so there's nothing else we can do at the moment. So you know what? It's fine. Uh, sleep, 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 fortify, sleep, move. End my turn. Oh my goodness me. Can you like do nothing? No uh, shortcut button either. Okay, Get some ruins around, so we've done that, finish the turn, now I have another base that is placed directly in the middle of the map, nobody will sneak between the two sides without us knowing about it. Neutral city pose no threat to us, but the diesel punk can be a whole different story. Before confronting them, we should make sure our technology is on par with their oil-powered machines. You will now have to choose one of the two available projects to research. Projects can improve your military power and technological advance. Each project requires a certain amount of science points. Our science points are generated each turn. Generated each turn, count toward progress of the project you're working on. The more science points you generate, the faster you will implement the project now on you will always need to work on an, at least one new project if you're not selected any you will be asked to do so before ending the turn all right what do we have we have a mirror lens uh they were using cameras in the old world gives us a sniper and this one gives us a Allows us to build the skyport, which we've already done, right? It's eight, eight science points. 
Let's do that. So, I don't know if we can... Must be demolished by a builder before any new building can be constructed here. So, we probably want to, like, get a builder going. And, um, let him work through. Okay, top of the screen you can find the trade button. You can buy and sell water, food and steam in each turn. And you're lacking resources when you're lacking resources for a new building. Trade, simply select the resource you're interested, enter the number you're interested in, and confirm clicking the accept. Includes your training. You can now play the skirmish map with access to most steampunk units. Actions and buildings, good luck. Well, there you go. So that's a tutorial, pretty much perfect timing for an episode. Um, we can go back to the menu. Did you get a bit of an idea, it, it's going to be a... A 4x, you know, strategy, you know, your, all your different, you know, civilization type thing. Um, and it sounds like there's some pretty interesting uh, combat units there. So we've we've got the four factions, and they'll all have their own, you know, thing. They all believe they're the best. So I don't know, Be an interesting one to look into. If you like the look of it, go and check out the link down below. Uh, it will take you to the Steam page for Punk Wars. Uh, again, it's a out on Steam. Go and check it out. Came out on the 12th of November. Developed by Strategy Forge and published by Jujube and Strategy Forge. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the first look. Comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye now.